Hello there, my name is Dwight Shima, I'm the Secondary Medical Student at NFSP. Now, I've been asked by your doctor to examine your shoulder today. So this is more of this one, moving your clothes from the waist up. And then I'll have a look and feel around the shoulder. And, and then I'll run you through some movements which I'll talk you through. Now, the important thing is, you might feel some discomfort, but it's important to let me know when you feel any pain, so we can identify the source of the problem. Um, and continue if possible. If you do feel too much pain, then let me know if we can stop. Okay. Okay. Are you happy to me to continue? Yeah. So okay. I'm just going to wash my hands. If you just have to take your top off for me. Okay. Do you have any pain at the moment? No. Okay. So to the hands, start the hand look. So we're going to look front, sides, and back. Um, moving from superficial to deep. So first of all, stretches in the skin. So um, checking there's no scars or bruising which might indicate trauma, trying to compare one side to the other. Um, there's no asymmetry. Um, with regards to the shoulder joint, it's a deep joint, so unless it's a very large swelling, you're not going to be able to see that. Um, and the other thing is for bony deformities, which you can't see. Next, you just face turn around here. Okay, and just checking at the back, especially in the regions of the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus, there's no muscle age for you bring one side to the other. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Can you face me again? So now I'm just going to have a feel around uh, the joint, just like from the base from the neck. So let me know if there's any pain at any point. Okay, so first of all, the sternum could be for the joint. Any pain there? No. And you feel along the clavicle, feeling very tenderness. Any pain? No. Oh. Okay, so we've got to the perimicrobicular joint. Okay. We feel around beyond the perimicrobicular joint to the chromium. And just place that with me. Hold me around the spine. And the sort of criminal bursa, just below. for the coracoid process. Any tenderness there? No. I feel a bit discomfortable. Okay, now uh, put your hands face side, the palms facing forward. And um, feel for the sips of uh, root. Okay, and uh, either side of it you've got the greater greater and less intricate of the humerus. Okay, any pain there? No. So it's quite an attachment of your rotator cuff muscles. That's good. Okay, so now I need to run through some movements with you. And um, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be standing behind you for this. Um, so if you face the wall for me, and um, the first thing I need to do is take your arms out from your sides, just lift them up so they're touching your ears. Good, all the way. Any pain there? No. Okay. And I'll bring them down slowly. Okay, so no triggering either. Okay, now um, I need you to take your hands forward as far as you can, all the way to the top. Okay, and then down. And then take them back as far as you can go as well. Okay, so that's flexion and extension. Good, okay. And now just took your arms into, into your body like this and um, just bring your wrist, your forearms out like this as far as you feel comfortable. Any pain there? No. Okay, and bring them back into the body and uh, reach behind you now. So just reach up as far between your shoulder blades as you can. Okay, any pain there? No. No, okay, fine. Uh, we're now going to move on to passive movements, so we're looking at joints. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the same movements and um, I need to just take the weight of your arms. So you let your arm go floppy and let me take the whole weight, okay? So let me know if there's any pain. Any pain there? No? Okay, so that's the full range of movement and then I'm going to apply over pressure. Is that painful? Is that painful? No. no. Okay, and the end feel is as expected. That's fine. You can bring a hand across, just face the window for me. Take a hand across. Take 
free abduction, so this is the scarf test. Any pain there? So it's when you stress the AC joint. Um, now I'm going to uh, ask you to do this movement again. Okay, so just let me take the weight and bring them out and put them in and then turn around to face that wall for me. And I'm just going to bring the arm up small on your back. Okay, any pain there? No. Try to take it inside. Okay? No. Okay, good. The other thing I'm going to do is if you, sorry, if you can move this face the wall. And I'm going to stabilize the acromion and I'm going to isolate the inguinal joint. So, let me just take the weight. Okay, so, about 60 degrees when the Program starts to rotate. Any pain at this point? No. no. Okay. So that's passive movement. I'm going to move on to resisted movement now. So what you need to do is just bring your arm out slightly and hold it there. And just keep your arm where it is and stop moving for pushing. Okay? Good? Okay. And uh, stop moving fully. Okay, so that's resisted adduction and adduction. And um, face me for a second. Bring hands to this position and hold them really out. So make sure your arms, the top of your arms, are touching your body and don't move those. Just keep them where they are. Okay, so that's resisted external rotation. And keep them there again. Okay, resisted internal rotation. Good. Okay, and the other thing we're going to do on here is, is the elbow flexion extension. So keep your hand where it is, hold them bending it. Okay, hands where they are. Okay, same on this side. Okay, good. Thank you very much. That completes my examination. Um, I would like to get dressed. Um, are you comfortable? Yes, yes. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So, the other important thing to consider, if indicated, would be whether or not there's any sites of referred pain. So, referred pain is obviously more proximal. Uh, location, so you want to consider the thoracic spine and the C spine. Um, other sites of referred pain, especially to the shoulder tip, would be to the diaphragm or in women with ectopic pregnancies um, or, or the gallbladder. Um, you'd also, if indicated, want to assess the neurovascular integrity of the upper limb, so whether or not the um, pulses were intact and the sensation and power of the upper limb was. Um, adequate and functionally speaking whether or not grip was um, was normal okay thank you very much